What's up guys, Deagle here from ProNC, welcome to another ESO build video. Today I want to show you the Magicka Sorcerer for the Somerset Chapter. So if you're Magicka Sork and you want to know how to play the Sork with the new update, this is the right video for you. update this is the right video for you <laughs> So that was the DPS test, let's have a look at the stats. Um, I've had some better DPS tests before but I still think it was pretty decent and this is the only one that I separately recorded off stream and uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the stats now. So 64 points into Magicka, I'm on the PTS by the way as you can see um, because the gear that I'm about to show you I don't have that on live yet so I decided to lock on the PTS because the set wasn't touched by um, by Zenimax when they brought it to life. And uh, yeah, so I'm a high elf. I'm also a vampire, so that's why I have 1.3k recovery unbuffed. I'm using the Apprentice Mundestone. And also Clockwork Citrus Relay, as you can see. 2.6k spell damage unbuffed, which goes up much, much higher. Um, and yeah, 49% spell crit, which also gets a bit boosted in... Tr uh, yeah, when we use a dark magic ability. So, um, for the DPS test, like I said, I've had one that was higher a couple of days ago. And as you can see, like my maximum spell damage completely solo is at 5.1k. Average spell damage of 4.4k, which is also really, really high for Magicka. Uh, burning spell with uptime at 6%. And I'm spoiling a little bit, I'm sorry. Burning Spell Weave uh, is one of the sets that we use, and as you can tell, maybe you were able to tell, um, that we also use the Perfected Mantle of Sororia set. So this is the new trial set, you get it in the Cloud Rest trial. And uh, there might be some people um, who will say, okay, well, like, I cannot get the Perfected one. Like, getting the perfect one, I think like if you complete it on Veteran, you get uh, weapons from the final boss and if you like start playing plus one so like the main boss main boss plus uh, an additional mini boss you can get perfected uh, gear um, so or like perfected armor pieces I'm sorry so yeah that's how you farm it however the only difference between the perfected and the non perfected version is that the five piece bonus adds an additional magicka so like it's an additional 1k magicka i think like um it's about like 1.3k with all the buffs um so that's not a lot and you won't lose like a ton of dps so yes you can also use the non-perfected version and you still you will still deal more dps compared to all other sets 
However, in fights where you have to move a lot, for example, Cloud Rest, you might not want to use um, the Sororia set because you have to run out of the circle a lot of times. It's because like the five piece bonus says, dealing direct damage with a single target ability creates a ring of fire beneath you for 10 seconds. Standing in the ring grants you a stack of Sororia boon for five seconds. Each stack increases your spell damage by 30. 20 stacks max so we gain we gain an additional 600 spell damage but we have an insanely high uptime so like if we do not have to move the uptime can get to like six uh, 70 80 percent or more depending on the length of the fight of course so yeah this is a really powerful set really really powerful um now the question is like what uh what is the alternative gear that you can uh, like use if you do not like if you play for example a trial where you have to move a lot um first thing that comes to my mind is of course julianos might sound silly but julianos is actually really really powerful um you can wear julianos on the body you will get a uh, spell crit two times you'll get one piece of uh, uh magicka and then 299 spell damage and that is great um so we'll, you'll have um um, a little bit less magicka, um, a bit more spell damage, and more spell crit. This set is, of course, much, much stronger than Juliano's, but that's one of the like easiest to get alternatives. Um, we then also use Zahn. There's a lot of people who will probably think, like, Zahn, do you really want to play that on a range max sword? Actually, Yes, because Zahn deals a ton of DPS. It's stronger than Alambras. So like in all tests that I've done for pure single target, Zahn was much stronger. And you can still stand close enough to the boss to actually make use of Zahn. Maybe not in Cloud Rest, of course. But um, there's a lot of boss fights where 10 meters in front of you is still plenty of space. Uh, for the melee uh, fighters to fit in. So I've seen, there, there's gameplay on YouTube of people on Maxorg playing with Zahn, for example, in Vmall on the first boss. And you can just like move in, proc Zahn and move a little bit backwards and you can still keep the beam connected so it's like no big deal. Yeah, you, you can really use it. However, if you feel like your Zahn is not proccing often enough because you're standing too far away, you can of course go, just go use Lambras and you're good to go your crit chance will be lower but you have more magicka personally i prefer to have high crit chance because of uh, good warhorn uptime and minor force and stuff like that so zahn is what i usually go with but the lambris also works um we combine that with five pieces of burning spell weave keep in mind the staff counts as two pieces now and we have three pieces burning spell weave on the jewelry with all spell damage we have an infused staff this might be really hard to get. I was lucky, like back then when I was trying to farm Burning Spell Weave, Inferno Staff and Sharpened, I got an Infused one and I kept it. Now Infused is best in slot, so we have an Infused Burning Spell Weave Staff with a Flame Damage Enchantment and then three Jewelry Pieces. Um, in the Serial Vendor, uh, you were able to buy, I think like Gold Burning Spell Weave Rings. Now you can just upgrade the purple ones. You can get this set in uh, City of Ash 1 and 2. For farming the weapon, I just recommend to go in City of Ash 1. And um, yeah, it's a really, really good set. As Magicka, spell damage, spell crit. And when we deal damage with the flame damage ability, we have a 15% chance to apply the burning status effect to the enemy and increase our spell damage by 525 for 8 seconds. And it has a 12 second cooldown. So it can be active for 8 seconds and then 4 second downtime. And like the maximum uptime that you can get is um 66 percent because of that um that's still quite high and makes it a really really strong set and um yeah like i adjusted the rotation a little bit or like i played very similar to what i did last patch and i can tell you that burning spell weave has really good up times like i at least have like 57 percent uh most times it's higher than that and it's really good but i do not recommend to like use that in for example in cloud rest like your burning spell with uptime will be really really bad and um yeah if you have to rest people a lot or 
if you have to shield a lot, like Bernice Bellweave might not be the set you want to go with. Instead, what you could do is go with uh, Mother Sorrow. Neck Mother Sorrow, ring and ring. And you can see like we have quite a bit more spell damage. Um, and if you go with Mother Sorrow, you have so much spell crit chance. Oh, not spell damage, I'm sorry, spell crit. And if you go with Mother Sorrow, you have so much spell a spell crit chance that you can easily drop Zahn. So you have more Magicka, you have decent spell crit still, will still be above 60%, and then you have also Scroria, so that's also a really, really sick combination, and just slightly, slightly, slightly weaker than Burning Spell Weave. So, some people might ask, like, what traits you want to have on your jewelry pieces. So, I recommend for the start to just keep Arcane. I've done tests with Arcane, I've done tests with Infused, and the difference was very minimal. Arcane being a tiny bit stronger than Infused. Might be because we have like Inner Light and uh, Bound Aegis on our bars, and we just like boost Arcane more. But like it was like a tiny bit stronger um, in solo tests. And in the trial, you also have the Warhorn buff. Like you get 10% more Magicka and stamina and then also I think was it like minor toughness 10% more HP um, that buff also increases your magicka um, and then like it takes the stat from your current max pool so then arcane become uh, becomes even a tiny bit stronger it's just a little bit but like it adds like another like uh, I think like around like damage with a value of around like 50 spell damage so yeah arcane personally for me the way to go um if you have really really short fights um in really good groups one piece of bloodthirsty is also not too bad it's like on the skeleton i had a, a little bit better results with one bloodthirsty and two arcane compared to three arcane but it's still very minimal and if you do not have all the transmit crystals don't worry, you can just keep arcane jewelry pieces and use it and you'll still be fine with DPS wise. It's not like that you're missing out on, I don't know, like 4, 5k single turret DPS because uh, of the way Bloodthirsty was on the first week of PTS. Another question people might ask is like, can you still use the perfected uh, Asylum Inferno stuff? Yeah, you can still use it. Um, of course, just not with this setup. So, um... If you use the perfect asylum staff, you will still you'll most probably go with willpower. So three pieces of willpower, and then you could combine it with Sororia, but your crit chance is really low. It still is a bit more DPS, but because of the low crit chance, like if you have bad crit luck, um, it won't be that much stronger compared to, for example, a mechanical acuity. Or um also, Scathing Mage. So, Scathing Mage is also a really good option um, if you play with port Force Pulse. Um, yeah. What you can also do if you can craft jewelry pieces, um, you can craft Acuity jewelry pieces and also wear um, a head and uh, shoulders of uh, Mechanical Acuity. And then combine it with five Sororia, so you have the crit chance from security, you have the two weapons here. However, Burning Spell Weave outperformed it for me by several K DPS. <coughs> so, oh, let's get Zahn again. So, five Burning Spell Weave, five Sororia with Zahn outperformed uh, the VA stuff for me. And I'd like. 33% more vulnerability uptime compared to with the perfect staff I had like 74% and it still did like 2k less DPS so this is what I recommend for maximum damage if you have it and uh, yeah so much for gear let's get into skills <clears throat> so the first skill that we use is elemental weapon it's from new psychic order skill line um, you have to start the main quest uh, in Somerset, and then once you are in, I forgot the name here, Arteum, uh, you can join the Psychic Order, and they will ask you to uh, close some uh, some time rifts, I guess. I don't know what they call it in English. 
um, across the whole Somerset map and then basically you're part of the Psijic Order and then um, yeah they basically uh, ask you to do this to close these uh, things these portals over and over again um, not just in Somerset but uh, across whole Tamriel and then you can level the skill line there and the elemental weapon is really really cheap it's like if you compare it to force poles it's almost 300 less magicka so that's really really cheap and uh, what it does is you infuse your weapon with power causing your next light attack use within two seconds to deal an additional 10.1k magic damage and apply burning concussion or chill and status effect resources are refund if a light attack is not activated which is also really cool on top of that um we also get spell orb if we have the passive active when you cast a strategic order ability while you are in combat you generate a spell charge when you reach five spell charges you launch a spell orb at the closest enemy to you dealing 5.2k magic damage or physical damage depending on what stats are higher um if we look at combat metrics uh, for example like here um the sphere with only two crits did 580 dps um in this fight here we had 700 dps so that's an additional free dps just from passives which is nice really really nice and you can see like it's really strong like it says like five point something k in the tooltip but it actually deals like up to 11.5k which is really really cool so that's free damage um really nice then we have crystal fragments of course when they proc we use them because they're cheaper and deal more damage and also they activate um, the dark magic exploitation passive giving us a minor prophecy for like for us and our allies three percent more uh, spell crit chance then we have liquid lightning so why do we have it on our front bar it's pretty simple um we do not recast the haunting curse all the time so we only recast it every second rotation that basically means we only cast blockade um like only one skill on the back bar and we are spent more time on the front bar and so we get better uptimes on burning spell weave we do not want to spend all the time on the back bar with burning spell weave i do not recommend it so we have liquid lightning on the front bar um, which is an aoe damage over time ability really really cool um then we have inner light inner light and bound agus both abilities are not toggle abilities anymore um bound agus was just recently changed with the summer set we get five percent magic here and again an additional two percent magic from magic controller from the major skilled ability skill line um and then bound agus is another eight percent max magic which is nice then we have a destruction self ability here destro alt fiery rage we of course need one for ancient knowledge because we need in destruction stuff ability so our flame because we have a flame stuff equipped our single target abilities deal eight percent more damage so we need the uh, destruction stuff ability on the front bar on the back bar we have greater storm at troll in most fights we use this ultimate it's pretty simple if someone uses a synergy um they get major berserk dealing uh, 25 percent more damage for eight seconds the atro also gets major berserk and he also deals more damage and um in trials it deals at least 3k single target over the whole fight so it's it's really really nice it's really really strong uh, i really recommend it so for pure single target this is the ultimate you want to go with then we have a shield and power board lasts for 10 seconds um decently big like with 17k and also gives us minor intellect like to us and our allies so 10 percent more magical recovery which is nice then we have again inner light and bound agus i keep bound agus at all times to be honest inner light is a flexible spot um you can put different skills here however i would not recommend to put the execute here reason for that is pretty simple um if we have the execute here and we only have burning spell weave on the front bar our burning spell weave uptime will be pretty much crap during execute so the only skill that i put here is from psychic order oh my god i'm so sorry <clears throat> channeled acceleration gives us minor force force for uh, 36 seconds 
and that yeah the increases our critical damage by 10 percent so i'd put that there um however still with burning spell even combination i'm not that much of a fan of the skill because it has a cast time of 1.3 seconds meaning you will spend time on the back bar and if your burning spell is already down like your uptime will suffer so i'm not a big fan of the skill so if you play this setup try to get uh, someone to use guard on you uh, like if you want to go power something ask someone to use guard on you anyway um then we have haunting curse like i said we only use this every second rotation so like we cast it it explodes after uh, 3.5 seconds and then and again after an additional 8.5 seconds so a total of uh, 12 seconds and um yeah we cast it we let it explode and then we start the rotation again but we don't want to recast it and then with every second rotation we just keep recasting it and then blockade of fire for our maelstrom staff you can see here um yeah ae dot same as liquid lightning so much for skills <clears throat> let's have a look at champion points so for the cp let's start with the green ones we have 28 into warlord 2 into sprinter 76 into arcanist 56 into tenacity 40 tumbling 48 shadow board for the red tree we have 81 into ironclad 22 into spell shield 49 hardy, 49 L defender, 34 into thick skinned, and 15 into quick recovery. For the blue ones, we have 23 into spell erosion, 64 into elemental expert, and 44 into elfborn. Um, our crit chance is really low, so we do not stack as much into elfborn. However, if you play with Mother Sorrow, you can take some points out of elemental expert and boost them, or well, put them into elfborn to even boost that a little bit more. Um, if you need more into spell penetration if you need more spell penetration what you could do is go and take the points from staff expert and put them in there but make sure to like ask your tanks what glyphs they are running what sets they're running if they're running alcosh and stuff like that and add the numbers up try to get as close to 18.2k um, um spell penetration so just add up the numbers and try to get as close as possible and like ask your your healers and tanks what they're running then we have like 13 staff experts, like I said, uh, 66 mastered arms, and 40 into thumb touch. For the rotation, it's pretty damn simple, guys. Um, we cast liquid lightning, we cast blockade, then we cast our curse into bar swap. Every time we cast the curse, we use five additional actions. So. Five times elemental weapon or crystal fragments. Um, or, for example, um, fire rage, meteor, or uh, greater storm atrona. It's up to you. And uh, then we cast liquid lightning again, blockade, and barstool again because our curse will still be active. And we do six actions. <coughs> Basically, that should look like this. So. Liquid Lightning, Blockade, Curse, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Liquid again, Blockade again, now we can do 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now we have Curse active, uh, uh, down again, so 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The FPS is a bit, I don't know, like memory leak, I'm sorry. So the FPS is a little bit low and the game's acting up. But that it, it's it's really that simple. If you cast curse, five actions. If you didn't cast it, six actions. Very, very simple. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Um if you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. And um if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you do not want to miss any ESO content, make sure to hit the sub button and also hit that little bell next to it to make sure you get all the notifications when a new video is up. That's it for today, guys. I hope you tune in next time too. I hope to see you then. Until then, bye-bye.